It's me and you, darling. Look at that. Dale? That river is flowing. So I'll, t I'll let you know the situation. We're going camping Friday night. It's about 10 to 6. Put some light on. Laura's going to um, go and hang out with her friends while I park up in suburbia and wait for her to finish her little dinner. Yep, that's how it's done. Hey, do you remember he did go to the footy one night and I waited till 11.30, 11 o'clock at night for him to come back and then we went camping. Look, it's not tit for tat, all right? Oh, oh, Come on. Okay. <laughs> Seriously. Not tit for tat. We all locked up? Yeah. I hope the wood doesn't bounce out, that one. It's all locked down, sweetheart. It's all locked down. Locked and loaded. So, where are you off to for dinner? We are off to 57 Cafe in Mount Waverley. It's my two girlfriends. This is a, a birthday dinner. What's that thing called? Bloated birthday. Rain check. Rain check. Bloated. Yeah, because they were sick when we were supposed to catch up. So, anyway, we'll go now. All right, all systems go. We're locked and loaded, hooked up, ready to go. You're driving, darling. That's good. Yeah, I thought I'd drive once. I'll drive, hurt. I'll drive to Mount Waverley and then I'll, <laughs> then I'll sit in the van and watch watch a bit of the footy or a bit of cricket and then you'll have a couple of king billies couple and then of, i'll be driving a couple of beers and then the missile will come back and we're into it yeah. where are we going warburton warburton i think it's an hour and a half hour and a half yeah, yeah an hour and a half away not too bad friday afternoon it's going to be shit traffic no doubt warburton holiday park yeah looking forward to this one should be good parked up in suburbia don't even know if this is legal, but we're doing it. Laura's off out with her friends having a nice meal. And I'm kicking back here, and I'll tell you what, I'm, not, I'm actually not hating it. Because, have a look at this. Pizza, beer, and cocoa. Just me and you, darling. Look at that. The old Mexicana. And the cricket's starting soon, so... Stay it as long as you want, sweetheart. This is going to break the old uh, light and easy diet. Jesus, a lot of cheese on it. Cheers to that, happy Friday. The weather is supposed to be pretty bad this weekend. Hopefully we get some breaks in some sunshine and some sunshine so we can do a bit of fishing. Maybe go for a nice little walk, but it's just a relaxing weekend with uh, Laura, myself and Coco. And um, should be good, Friday to Sunday. Want some pill? Gentle. Yeah. How is it? Good? On your bed. On your bed. Not that one. On your bed. Yeah, up. Come on. Good girl. Wait there. Alright, so what I'm going to tell you, Coco, sometimes you just got to take one for the team. 
That's why we're in here having a beer and a cuddle. Mummy's out there having fun with her friends. Huh? We've got the tough life, haven't we? Beer, pizza, and cricket. Having a bit of trouble getting the cricket on. Bloody suburbia, you think you'd be able to get it? What's going on here? It's giving me nothing. Oh, here we go, here, go, go. Connecting. You beauty! Listen, read, go back, watch the highlights. Living the dream, Coco. Around the ground. He's that sort of. I think we are. Pretty you know you're right into your sports when you've got two going on at once. England's still 174 behind. England's in Stark. You're back. I'm back, Dar. Back from dinner. So I had a really nice dinner with my friends. Had a nice girly chat. And... One of my best friends got a got Bianca and I mm -hmm. a $150 voucher for Endota Spa. Oh wow. Both of us. That's nice. Yeah. Very good. And I paid for dinner. So it's my birthday. And yeah. All systems go. So we're only an hour and five minutes away from our campground. And you've pre ordered um Yes, yeah, so I put I've booked the Baja envelope aside for us to get our site number and the map and we pick up a fire drum from behind the reception area now we're not going to jack off the car this time <laughs> no we took the stone guard off last time we went camping at this this late at night or actually it was a lot later someone jacked off the car and broke the the rear tail light if you haven't seen that episode jump a, jump across and have a look at it down yeah. at lang lang top little spot down there the girls in the back was she good yeah, she was great. Yeah. yeah. Watching the cricket and the footy with the old man. And a couple of quiet beers. It was quite nice. I actually could have could have just stayed here all night, to be fair. Okay, well, I had, a, I had a glass of wine and I thought, I'm pretty sure I'm driving, so I better not have too oh, many lucky. more. lucky. I've had three beers. But yeah, it was good. Otherwise, we would have been staying in suburbia. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> that would have been a good YouTube these, these show. these people have just come home, so they're probably wondering what the yeah. hell we're doing they'll here. Be thinking, Why is there a bloody caravan at the front of our house? Yeah. Well, we better get there. It says right. we're going to get there at 10 to 10 now. Which Let's... is not even the time that we left for the last trip to no, Lang Lang. True. <laughs> true. It's about, probably a similar distance. Anyway, let's kick it ripping. <laughs>
you should have the codes that the code there from oh yeah the codes there to get in. Yeah. So just press hash first and then those numbers and hash again. Yep. And where's it telling you you are? We're R three I think. Just over here. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that's really easy to find. Yeah. So, so you just yep. go through the boom gates here. Yeah. Yep. Hang a righty. Yep. And you'll go past the toilet block on your right. Actually, hold Thank on. you, Ta. Oh geez, there's a few people here. She's hot and dusty here. Let's go and see where we are. It's very windy. Can't see a thing. Just in here though. In between this pole and that pole. The power leak has to reach over there. Yeah, which easily can you can easily do it. Try to swing to your left a bit more. say so, it's like the last thing you need when you're trying to reverse a caravan especially in when it's pitch black yeah. is someone barking orders or being no. smart or no you come up to me he goes he goes are you training her are you oh. i said mate she's been telling caravans for 15 years i don't need to train her he goes oh yeah it's hard it's dark and they never make it easy. Anyway, it's a good spot. F F F. <laughs> Kiss. Dial. Can we unhitch? Can we unhitch? He's turned that, he's, he's turned the... Sorry, could you hear me? Can we unhitch? Yeah, I said it's perfect. Excellent. You tell your old mate that. Well, we might need to put the, um... Levelers on. What's Deal with problem? that. Huh? Ooh. Hello. Big time. We've got old mate. Just kick him back like a king. Get it's actually of, it's pretty level. Get rid of him, Dal. Huh? Get rid of him. Oh, what do you just want me to pick him up with my hands like Steve Irwin? Oh yuck. Big love. Oh yuck. That is disgusting. Step on him. Saved him. Was that in there the whole time with you? No. I, I didn't see it. Set up within 15 minutes of rocking into Warburton. Laura had a bit of a, a bit of directions from the security yard, which is quite amusing. Usually, it's always amusing to me, but anyway, she nailed it once again. Um, <clears throat> I've had these beers, and I've, I've been wanting to do this for a while now because I'm not sure where I saw it. It's, someone had this unreal idea, and I thought, oh, I've got to share this on YouTube. I've had these beers sitting in the front seat 
all the way up here and the heater in the car has made them really warm. So, and I've got no other beer in the fridge. So, I'm going to show you how to make them cold within, I reckon, a minute, probably at the most. All you need is not that. All you need is some paper towel, all right? Probably two sheets will do it. Grab your beer. This is this is lukewarm at the moment. Roll it in paper towel. All right. As such. Give it a bit of a wet, a bit of a drench. Rinse off any liquids, otherwise the miso might get a bit annoyed in the fact that you're going to put water all through the, the freezer. Chuck that in there and I guarantee you, within a minute, time it. There <laughs> you have it. I don't know where that ice block come from, but that beer, a minute later, or maybe, maybe two minutes, <laughs> is freezing. Feel that, babe? It's cold, isn't it? Coco, cold? Cold? Yeah. She's licking it. Cold. There you go, that's how you keep your beer cold. to come and jump in bed during the night. It was early morning. Wasn't it, Dallin? It was early morning. Yeah. When daddy be so mean? When daddy be so mean? Can't wait to show you guys the river. Such a pit picturesque place, this. Very nice. Oh, hopefully the rain stays away. It'd be nice to get a, go for a nice long walk later. Yeah, I know. Well, we've got to do something. Otherwise, we'll be caravan bound. Oh, that river yeah. is flowing. What's cooking? Good looking. <laughs> what we got here? A couple of crock pots. Yeah, these are really good. Do you know what they're from? They're from Have a, a look at this. They're from where? The dip, is it? Yeah. So, two purposes, as usual. So this one's a Moroccan hummus, hummus dip. So once you finish your dip, the dip, you keep your little Crock pot. Um, terracotta pots, and you can mm. reuse them for things. Good idea. Such as breakfast today. Mm, it looks very interesting because you've got a bit of spreadable this cream cheese. Yeah. yeah. So it's like your equivalent it's a nice to fruit. Filling. Some raspberries, a bit of ham, some bacon, tomatoes, eggs. You don't like eggs. I do when it's mixed with all this goodness. Okay. And then um, capsicum, some cheese, some tomatoes, and I need um, a red onion, which is probably in that great green bag, please don't. This is how you pack when you um when you leave on a Friday night. <laughs> Just sort of throw it all in one of those green bags, green shopping bags, and we're off. But it, it was good leaving late last night because you get to wake up in the morning and 
Well, you get to have Kiwi wake you up three times in a night. Yeah, and have, <laughs> have views like that. All right. Let's go. So today we're making something a little different. I haven't done this in a long time. I'm going to make some egg and bacon and cheese souffles. So in these beautiful dip pots that I've got. So you can put whatever you want in your egg and bacon souffle. We've got tomato, capsicum, cheese, red onion, bacon, and egg, plus a little bit of cream cheese, okay? So the first step I'm gonna do is whisk the eggs in a bowl. I'm gonna put all the ingredients in there, mix it all together, and then I'll line these terracotta pots with bacon. So the bacon will act as a cup It'd be like a little cupcake souffle and then because it's crappy weather outside we're going to have to do this inside so i'm going to put some water in the in the base of the fry pan here those fit in perfectly lid on top and it will act as an oven and then the magic will happen what's the hopefully. idea what's the idea of the water and the, the sauce so we don't boil it burn the bottom yeah. of the bacon and the cups so it acts as a uh, like a bain marie yep. so, yeah anyway i haven't done this before this way so normally i just put it in the oven but we are ovenless so we'll see what happens so eggy eggies i'm not sure if these ones are from the farm or not well, they got they got stamps on them so they don't they're not no, the um the chooks haven't been laying i'll do two eggs per person enough okay whisk away here darling you can do this <laughs> uh, mrs proudfoot will be proud of me <laughs> she used to be my cooking teacher back at back at uh, high school we used to always walk into class and say what's cooking mrs proudfoot and she'd go boys just sit down mm. I mean, we would have been a real rock, raw pain in the ass back in the day, no I can, doubt. I can imagine. <laughs> so I'm going to add a little bit of cream fresh to this. And we can mix that in. Good girl, Coco. That's where you belong. Maybe just two tablespoons. Fold it through. Yes, please, darling. Mm. Tastes just like Philly cheese. Okay, so with the bacon, what I want to do is I want to put a big piece around the bottom and then put the like the rind stuff part of the bacon around the edge. Oh, that's huge. I know. I think your dad got these that's pieces. Cool. I like it. Get a big piece and you just drop it while it's hot. Place it in the bottom like that. And then I'm gonna do around the sides so the souffle will rise nicely around it and it won't leak. That's the plan anyway. Alright, now I'll add the the goodies. I want to mix it all together and then pour it in. Yeah. So we've got the capsicum. The tomatoes are a little bit big, so I might only put half of them in. We'll see how they go. I'll put some on the side. Yeah, it should be all right. You reckon? Yeah. Um, the old kookaburra's going off. I think they're laughing at your, your breakfast idea, girl. <laughs> They'll be they're, they're sitting out the out the back because they want some. Now I'm just going to put in a little bit of grated cheese. Ooh, it smells good. Too. It's and then cooked. the final part is with your leftover bacon. Just chop up a little bit, and we'll put it in. There's a lot of bacon in that. Yeah, I know. That there, if you put some in here, it's going to be very. Just going to put a little bit up. Overpowering. You make this how you want to make it. Don't say, I don't want to say I told you so. 
No, I bet you you're going to eat it and you're going to go, yep, that just those little bacon pieces inside just make it, darling. Okay. Good idea. Alright, we'll see. <laughs> the proof will be in the pudding. Well, that's what it is, isn't it? So a handful of bacon pieces. Alright, I'm going to this. Isn't that great? Name that even Stevens. Looking good, looking good. All right, so we need some water in here. Yep. It's gonna be really interesting to see how this turns out. We'll just start off with <coughs> half heat. And we'll see how she rock and rolls. cooking for about I'd say at least half an hour like it's it's hard as a souffle you ready, mate? I reckon? yeah you can't cook anymore okay Good sign. You gotta kick it, flip it. There you go. Okay. <laughs> That's how you do it, fine. Voila. Disaster. That's gonna be mine. Man down, man down. <laughs> oh, you idiot. Anyway. That's the idea. Yeah. This breakfast. is our little breakfast platter, darling. Let's see how we go here. Upset the misto for breakfast. Mm. Bon appetit. Mm. Thank you. Beautiful. We'll show you around the park shortly. I think we're just going to go for a walk while it's not raining. So this is the site that you want. Number one, you got no one next to you. Massive site in the river and all this spot too. It's always good to keep a little diary of where you go and what you do the good places, where to camp, where not to camp. Yeah. Cause you always forget, especially when you camp a lot. You get here and you're like, oh, that's right. We're supposed to camp in this spot. <laughs> that should calm her down a bit. Oh, how nice would it be in uh, summer here? Yeah, we're gonna be lots of snakes. Snakes, snakes. 
about and no one likes snakes, not doggies either. Oh, just stay away from them. Like stay, stay away, away from them. It's like huntsmen. Oh. Stay away from them and they don't hurt you. Yeah. One thing I love about this place is it's so dog friendly. There's so many people walking their dogs around the caravan yeah. park and they're on leads, which is good, but very, very dog friendly people here. The, the hosts are quite nice too, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Greeted us last night. Here we go. River access truck. Let's see where we end up. I was just about to say we're, we're pretty lucky with the weather like I know we go camping in winter and we were lying in bed and it was raining this morning but how good is this look at this mountain though How, that's how high the river is. Lapping the banks. 